Now, I'm guessing Chris has got something even weirder lined up. Chris, what have you got for us? Well, vampire mollusks are one thing, but I think I can thrash you all when it comes to weirdness. I want you to listen to something. I'm going to play you a sound, and then I'm going to ask you if you all know what it is. So let's have a listen to this. Come on then, Yolo, what do you think? Early human league, orchestral what? manoeuvres in the dark? Do you know what, Chris? I have heard that before. When Michaela's had half a shandy and she's snoring, it's exactly like that. <laughs> it's quite close, it's quite close. Gillian, what do you think? Have you any idea what's producing that sound? I was going to try and give that a serious shot, I guess. And maybe my fresh water, <laughs> the muscles spatting. But you know what? I have no idea, Chris. <laughs> I've got to be honest with you, I had no idea when I first heard it. So, Michaela, go on, give it your best shot. You've got the last go at this. I have definitely heard that sound before, and I've heard it on a few episodes of Doctor Who. I don't know, is it, is it some sort of Dalek that needs its batteries changed? I've no idea. <laughs> no, no, no doubt Daleks that need their batteries changed. It is absolutely remarkable. Look, here is what's producing that sound. It's shiitake mushrooms. And here you can see some of them growing on some wood in the tank where the sound was recorded. So how is it producing this sound? Well, the mycelia, the roots, if you like, of this mushroom, are pressing their way through that wood and it's decomposing. That's where it gets its energy, its nutrients from. And of course, in order to do that, those roots need to have to grow. And when we get cell division in any organism, plant, animal or fungus, there's a change in potential, electric potential between those cells. Ions are moving between them, a tiny, tiny, tiny electric field called the bioelectric field. Now, Michael Prime is a bioelectric composer and he's built some very, very, very sensitive equipment because these are tiny, tiny electric fields and he's built equipment which transforms them into sound so that we can hear them. So that's not the sound that the mushrooms are actually making. This is a bit like a bat detector. It's transforming a sound into something that we can hear in the case of the bat detector, but here it's transforming a tiny electric field into something something which we can hear. Mushrooms warbling in the dark. What about that? Truly wonderful as well as weird.